Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dunga, and welcome back to Let's Play Morrowind. Last time, we did some of the faction quests for the Fighters Guild and the Mages Guild. This episode, we are going to be uh, doing some of the main quest. Alright, so let's just hop, bunny hopper away all the way to Chaos Crusade's house and see if he has anything for us to do, even though I should stop hopping everywhere because you know it my my jumping skills is already pretty high enough don't want to like waste any strength skills strength is a very valuable uh, attribute in this game but i can just train skills like what i'll probably do with like heavy armor i'll train heavy armor up so when i level up i can get like five endurance I'm yo what up give me some orders Ready for orders? Go talk to Hasfet and Tobolus in the Balmora's Fighters Guild. Ask him what he knows about the Nerevanian secret. Cult six house blah blah blah. I am not very good at reading. All right, but we have to go talk to uh, Hasfet and Tobolus about the six house and Nerevanian. Hopefully, he will uh, won't make us do anything. Spoilers. It's gonna make us do a quest. Hopefully, he won't uh, make us do anything because I really don't want to do anything. But whatever, probably gonna have to do something because that's just how stuff works. People will just not do something out of the kindness of their heart. You have to do something for them. They're so, so mean that way. Why can't they just help me out, yo? I'm trying to save the world from Dagoth or who we supposed to not know about, but I beat this game before, so I know about. I don't even. Pretty sure that's supposed to be like sighing or something. Claw my eggs. Shut up. I'm not talking to you. The thing I always thought about was uh, how it's lame that the Fighters Guild doesn't really have a way of transportation. Like, the Mages Guild has the freaking uh, teleportation, and the Fighters Guild just doesn't have anything. Yeah, he wants us to go to Arkham He wants us to go get a Dwemer puzzle box. Sorry, puzzle box. I'm sorry if I'm, like, skipping a bunch of this text. I don't want to read it, because I already... Showing off how bad my reading skills are. So yeah, it's not really very good. No, don't help me. I don't need any help at all. Alright, but I'm first going to want to do... Normally, we just have to leave north of Balmora. But what I'm going to want to do... Shut up. I'm going to get some scrolls. Yo, I'm going to get some scrolls, baby. And yeah, I'm going to get some scrolls. So I can just travel places really fast. And I'll have to walk at all. And I have to get a helmet. At the Balmora's Fighters Guild. That's really cool looking. Take me to Alderaan. Now, if you guys do have any suggestions about this Let's Play, like what do you guys want me to do and stuff, you can go to the Reddit, a Reddit sub pay link or whatever. It's a conversation on the Morrowind subreddit. Yeah, uh, I'll put a link to it in the description. So, you guys, if you guys have a Reddit account, you can just ask me what to do. I already have a few suggestions like joining House Silvani and killing uh, the mud crab merchant, which I might do. I mean, there is a bunch of like uh, annoying people. Ooh, yeah. There's a bunch of uh, fishies or whatever those guys are called. I, I know the name. Come on. Slaughterfishes. Yeah. Slaughterfishes are really annoying. I hate them. They're almost as bad as cliff racers, but we'll get, we'll get to cliff racers. Oh, you guys have no idea. How much I hate cliff racers. Shut up. Give me your freaking really cool looking dragon helmet. Oh yeah. And you could take this really stupid helmet. There you go. Oh yeah. Gives us one plus armor. Look at how cool that looks. We are so balling right now. We are rolling in the swag. Yeah, I don't know why dragon armor is, like, such kind of, like, low tier. But it looks really cool. The other thing I noticed about uh, medium armor, it's not, like, necessarily, like, extremely good. It's just, like, really cool looking. Like, they really spend a lot of time on the medium armor in this game. Now, if you don't use medium armor, it's okay. Oh, I didn't pick up any scrolls. Wow, I am a idiot. A I didn't pick up any scrolls here. What? Well, and some potions. 
There we go. All right. All right. Okay, yeah, if you don't use medium armor, actually, there's, like, a level, like, 80 locked door, and then there's a level 100 locked chest in that fighter's guild. And if you can go through them, you'll get some glass armor. You get, like, a head, legs, and chest. It's pretty cool. It's worth selling. And if you wear light armor, you just equip that. Let's go to Balmora. And all right. Well, let's hope this works. Divine interventions. Come on, work. Take us to where I want you to take me. Are we here? Oh, yeah. We did it. Yeah, this is where we're... Actually, if you go to Saran, yeah, it won't be that bad, but... Yeah, that's where that uh, Mage Guild quest wants us to go all the way up there, and I'm like, no way I'm going up there. Huh chug some mana potions because I noticed my mana is a little low equip like a fireball spell you never know what's gonna come come up and rape ya and there you go there's Arkanthan now thankfully I have this awesome mod pack that increases the render distance but if you didn't you wouldn't even see Arkanthan when you're all the way at the bottom you just see like you're like oh Arkanthan isn't this way oh I can't even see it yeah that's what happened the first time. I went like around, I went all around, and I went up. I'm like, finally, here it is. I don't know. Maybe I'm just like really dumb, but whatever. Here's this guy. I'm gonna snipe him. With my fireball. Oh yeah. Spam, spam. Bombard him with your fire spells. That was easy. Usually people have trouble with this guy, but I never really have. I just spam him with spells. Whoa, this game looks really good sometimes. Especially in the morning. Ruby. Money. Now what I usually do in this game is I don't like sell the gems and stuff. I usually keep them and I have them like in a collection so I keep all the rubies diamonds pearls and emeralds in this game I always like put them in a jewelry box or I lay them out because I'm a pimpio now look at this I don't understand who came up with this idea for these doors I don't know these dwarven guys didn't seem very smart I mean they're obviously pretty smart but they they got wiped out and they make weird ass doors yeah, there's probably a reason why they're gone they probably got like stuck in their doors and starved to death oh my god he saw me good thing he got stuck on that oh yeah fire spells away I love this game so much oh no his friend came up all right now we're actually gonna like do some serious fighting combat with our new shield. Ooh. Well, I was still loud even though I have the volume turned down. Die. Ooh, that was intense fighting. Some really intense battles going on. And up here, now there is a big area you can explore. I'll do that after I grab the puzzle box. And there are tons of these Dwemer coins that are just like thrown out everywhere and they're worth a lot of money all right let's do this I'm gonna fire bite him oh, I'm gonna put on a shield first and then I'm gonna fire bite him all right final boss die Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Now, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to cast, like, as much spells as possible because I can increase my uh, destruction. Destruction makes cast casting spells, or at least uh, casting destruction spells, like, a lot easier. And for less, look at that. And, of course, of course this is going to happen. Um, let's just drop a bunch of these potions he gave me. A lot of them are useless. I don't even know why I picked some of them up. 
Some of them are expensive though. Yo. I don't care how expensive they are. I just want to be able to walk. There we go. Now, do I want to do more exploration in this area, or do I want to kill some people? I mean, do I want to leave? Uh, let's go kill some people, guys. Let's have an adventure. Let's try to get some skills up, because it's something I've kind of been wanting to do, because we're on... This is part five. And we haven't even leveled up yet. What's up with that? How close are we? Let me check. Pretty fairly close. I'm gonna make sure I cast my shield spell. Alright, let's do this. Come at me, yo. Oh, you can't hit me. I should probably have some fatigue. You can't get me. Oh, oh, shank. Ooh, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Come on. Come on. There we go. 36. OP. There's usually nothing in there, so... Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother because I'm lazy. Over there is some lava. I do not want to go in there. Good thing I'm not playing in Oblivion, because the lava in Oblivion looks god-awful. Like, jeez. It's just terrible. I wonder how I was able to play the game without modding it. Come on, die. 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 I want to stand this way so the lava creates light so you can actually see his face. No. Torch. So you guys can see everything. Some glimmer coins. So we can sell those for a lot. I'm going to chug some more mana potions. That's why I love joining the Mages Guild. If you have the uh, Arc Atronach, you could just do that. You should just uh, chug the potions that they give you. Come on. Come on. Come on, I believe in you, lockpicks. Come on. Oh my god. There he goes. Security is level 6. Ooh, Dwemer coins. Good tube. Always wanted that. Always wanted that. And let's check over. Actually, I don't want to go in there. I'm lazy. Let's get out of here. That's the main reason I come in here. I come in here for the, like, that huge pile of donor coins. It's always, like, a lot of them. It's always, I think it's always 25, pretty much. And if you're at a higher level, you can get, like, Dwemer armor and stuff. But I know easier ways to obtain Dwemer armor. You just steal it. Stealing is the easiest way to get anything in this game. That's what I've noticed. It's really hard to get, like, glass armor. It's really hard to get Daedric. It's pretty much impossible to get Daedric armor. You have to, like, know exactly where it is or just do every single dungeon possible. But it's possible, I guess. Ooh. Let's chuck some potions. Let's use a quality. Yo, bitch. Uh, 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 uh. Whoa, we're so good. Jeez. I'm gonna get a fireball spell going. So I can increase more destruction. I'm gonna like quick save, cause I don't wanna die. Dying is not on my list of things to do right now. Die. Yeah, I'm just gonna fire bite. Burn. Burn. Something I like about this game, unlike uh, other Elder Scrolls games, is the first spell they give you in the game, like, they're not super bad. Like, in Skyrim, they're not that bad, but in Oblivion, the healing spell is pretty decent, but a fire spell is terrible. You, you pretty much have to, like, if you're gonna, like, use magic, you pretty much, like, you gotta, like, spend some money on a good spell. Alright, I thought there was more, but I guess that's it. Alright. Now I think what we could do is uh, we could just do Asomli Interventions. Take me to Belmora. Yeah, buddy. In Belmora. I got the box. Yeah. I like, just making sure because I don't want to like accidentally forget it or something. Maybe I, I dropped it or I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty dumb. I, I'm, I mean... I shouldn't talk bad about myself, but I am pretty stupid. I would do something like this. I mean, like that. 
or just drop the box. I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna drop the box. Or like once on my first playthrough, I sold the uh, package. So when I went to KS Kasei, he's like, what package? And I'm like, oh, fuck. So I didn't know where to go. And I know who I sold it to. So I restarted the entire game. And I, don't, I still to this day, I don't know who I sold it to. I probably sold it to like a real or something. Oh yeah, tell me about the new Irving. You can't really tell me anything, but you can tell me about the sixth house. Irving, she tells he tells me that some other lady will tell me, oh, well, some other lady will tell me where the uh, sixth house, no, the Irving stuff is. So, tell that to Chaos. Oh yeah, making money. Now, let me see. Can you give me no. I want some heavy armor training, so I increase my endurance. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Now I have to go back down here and I have to get some spear training. I have to get five. Fuck my acrobatics. I always did a skill. Uh, I have to get five in t spear now. I know you teach spear. One, two. And three, four, and five. There we go. Now when we level up, we will get five bonus points into endurance, which is great. It's awesome. Pretty much endurance is like the most important thing in the entire game. That's why I recommend getting the uh, lady if you are a noob. So you get just bonus endurance at the very beginning. And if you get like your endurance up really fast, you will just get mass. We'll just get an insane amount of health by the end of the game. Because endurance increases how much health you have. What the? You guys see that? What is going on there? Oh, oh, I thought she was like, okay, I didn't see the, okay, I didn't see that she was sitting. I thought she was just standing there. <laughs> you guys probably thought it too, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm not dumb. Even though I said I was. But I'm not that dumb. I probably... Well, I, I was that dumb, but whatever. Alright, let's talk to Chaos. Yo, what up? Yes. Orders. Give me more orders. Alright, now to talk to this lady. He's like, oh, thanks for the orders. Now go talk to uh, Sean Grawl Mug. And yeah, that'll be the end of this episode, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Next episode, we're going to be continuing the main quest. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.